Hi, I'm Byron. I'm happy to share this quote with you today. This quote was originally shared on the BJJ Brick podcast by one of our guests. If you enjoy the quote, like the video, subscribe to the YouTube channel, and then go check out the podcast. It's a weekly show. We talk about lots of jujitsu. So here goes the quote. Do you have a, a favorite quote that you'd like to share? My quote is, train with everyone. Um, I started that quote and really pushed it. I put on shirts and things like that because it has many meanings. Uh, the first meaning, I think when, uh, and this is a lot in martial arts, but this is a lot in anything, where people try to take ownership over your progress, they, they take ownership over your uh, where you train, things like that. There's a lot of, you know, rem people need to remember that the culture of today for Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu is different than when it first started. It's adjusting. Uh, some academies are still old school, but it used to be that you have one teacher and you should never learn outside of your school. So I said train with everyone. Because if I did that, I would not be the martial artist I am uh, in a technical sense. <clears throat> in reality, I would have never done judo. Because it was very restrictive. Uh, if we did, if we if we lived by that, aka for example, any MMA gym, yeah, would not exist. MMA itself would not exist. Yeah, it's a very close-minded uh, mindset, uh, and I, I think it's it's an immature, very close-minded mindset. Um, it's one of the I, I would say few times that I'm very very honest about it because I, it just it just hurts people. I've had, I've I've done seminars where people said. They can't be included in the uh, picture because they might go on social media and then and then I'll get I don't know hate emails or whatever. I don't Golly. know something ridiculous like that. Yeah, and I, I've heard that a lot. And this I've heard that in Australia. I've heard that you know traveling. You know I've heard that all over the United States. Um, I'd say it's shifting, and there's a lot of good people out there now. You know I have a saying: train with everyone. At the same time, of course, there's a responsibility of the student. I mean, loyalty is important. You know. Yeah. Uh, I think having, you know, loyalty in your academy and, and love for your academy and support for your academy. We have, I'm, like I said, my life now is better than it's ever been because there's so many good people around me that I say, hey, is, is it possible you come in and help? And we, need, we just need a lot. There's like 20 people that are helping us, lifting. And, you know, we do like, you know, holiday parties, and they're there setting things up. We do a tournament uh, twice a year, the Jiu-Jitsu Grand Prix. We do it in our academy in Pleasanton. We have great parking here, that's why. Um, but, it, you know, this place is full of people. There's 250 competitors, kids, everybody. The Rotolo twins came and, you know, did it a few times. They were here this last, we do it uh, first week in December and, and May. So it's twice a year. Uh, and you ask people to help and they help. And, I mean, that's that's what this whole thing's about. Like, it's, it's that connection. So, um uh, train with everyone is, is you know, I'm not going to sit there and tell someone, you know, they go, oh, can I take the seminar from someone who's coming in? Yes. Please bring back the information. And when I sign, yeah. like I have a book, right? So I sign people by book and they go, can I, can you sign my book? I go, yes. My, my message is always either learn from everyone or train with everyone. Um, but yeah, at the same time, be a part of your academy, like help your academy. Running an academy is, is, I'll be honest. The most, I would say, rewarding, stressful thing I've ever done in my life. Yeah. It, it's, you know, and I think people need to respect that and understand that. And people do. It's, it takes a tremendous amount of time and work. Um, especially the way we do things here. We respect our training. you got to make sure, you know, you, you, you know, it's, you know, you're basically putting on a show every day. And it's, and it's an awesome, for me, it's awesome. You know, we're all smiling. We learn jiu-jitsu. We keep this thing positive every, every day. Uh, and I think being a student, it's important to have that loyalty because then you become really a part of that academy. And like I said, you really experience the academy. Um, but at the same time, there, there are restricting instructors that just, I don't, I, to me, they just don't get it. Yeah. It, you have uh, you have loyalty because of what you're providing to your students and they, and, and they've, they've, You've earned that. Now, now, if you just tell guys, right. your students, you can't go over there. Don't go over there. That's just, yeah. I, I'm not, I don't want to pay you money to have you tell me what not to do. 
Like you said earlier, you like freedom. You like to be able to do what you want to do. You, if you want to go to do a judo tournament and then go to a BJJ tournament, you want that right. ability. Right. You don't want to pay. I don't want to pay an instructor money and then say, no, you can't go train over there on on a Sunday. Um, or if you do, I'm going to make you feel bad about it. Or yeah. Something like that. Now look, yeah, like for example, you said Sunday. Sunday is a perfect day, but like it is like if you're getting ready for a tournament. Your teammates need you. That, yeah, yeah. I mean, that also needs to be articulated and understood. Because if you if you go, oh, I want to train over here, well then. It's not just for you. You're not there for your academy. Yeah. But the, the, the blanket statement of, I never want you, I mean, I never say no. But if it's like, oh, well, we're having specialized competition training, then yeah, I want you here. Yeah. You know, oh, you're getting ready for this tournament? Get ready with your team. That's you know, what... after the tournament, I, I don't care. I, I You know, just bring it back. Because <laughs> there's this thing that I also have is, no jiu-jitsu instructor or martial arts instructor knows everything. There's no, there's, it's just no way. I don't care yeah. what world titles you have or how famous you are or whatever. There's always something I don't know, and I, I learn, I look at it, I'm like, man. A lot of times it's very fundamental. <laughs> I'm I like, think, oh, I should have I known that. You know? <laughs> I think jiu-jitsu so is... a community of, of sharing. Is yeah. What it is. It's, I think we're fortunate most of the times in jiu-jitsu that, that instructors aren't able to even, like, give that perception that they know everything uh, anymore because because of our rolling and because, you know, the hard training that we do uh, compared to other martial arts where you might look at your instructor and and you've told – you've been told they know everything and, and, they're, and they're the end to every question you have. And jiu-jitsu, we see that come out all the time, you know. Like, if you, you don't right. know something, it, it's going to be obvious you don't know the answer to the problem. Right. <clears throat> Well, cool. Well, Go ahead. Yeah, I'm just <laughs> just agreeing, definitely. <laughs> um, 